Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Stewart with Sarah Stewart Legal Group and you can reach me at www.sarahstewartlaw.com or at 405-548-5763. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about what is called an advanced directive. So under Oklahoma law, there's really no one who can make decisions for you if you're unable to make decisions for yourself. So, I mean, without having a durable power of attorney in place or a guardian or an advanced directive or a trustee, um, just under the law, if something happened to you today and you had nothing, technically there's nobody that can really make decisions for you. So. That being said, some places their policies are a little different. They might accept a spouse if, you know, the circumstances are right. But it always helps to be protected and to be prepared, right? So one way to do that is what we call an advanced directive. So what you do in advanced directive, and you may have heard of this as a living will because there was a section of the advanced directive called that. So what you do in your advanced directive is you fill out your living will, which states in certain situations what you would want done. Now, an advanced directive is the only legal document in Oklahoma that gives someone the authority on their own to determine if you will receive life-sustaining treatment. So, um, to pull the plug, essentially. This is the only document that will allow you to name someone to do that. Now, again, Policy-wise, some hospitals will allow it in certain situations, but under the law, this is the only document that gives that authority. So, an advanced directive has the living will, which takes you through three situations and what you would want done. Would you want life-sustaining treatment? Would you want artificial hydration and nutrition, but nothing else? Or would you want nothing at all? And you have to initial next to your choice. Then there's a second part that talks about naming someone what's called a proxy, a healthcare proxy. So here you get to determine, other than the first three situations, if something happened to you and you could not make decisions, who would you want to do that for you? And you can name a primary and a secondary, you can name two people. We often don't recommend that just because those two people usually have to be in agreement to make something happen. And then we have a third section which talks about if we want to have transplantation therapy, um, do we want to give our body to science, do we want to be able to have organs donated for transplant. And then you sign that in front of witnesses. So advanced directives are very important in Oklahoma. In fact, they're so important that with any of our packages, we offer them for free. You can come in and do a probate and tell me you want an advanced directive and I will do one for you because they're just that important. So just be aware of advanced directives and the importance of them and be sure to determine if you need one. And if you do, you can always give us a call. Again, it's 405-548-5763. Thank you.